My name is Linda Penny. I live in Calgary with my daughter. I work at the Manor in the South, which is a senior's facility, and I work for Liberty Tax in the North, and I sell combined insurance, which is accident and sickness, throughout Calgary and actually the province of Alberta. So. Well, about five years ago, we had the concessions, both of them in Brooks at the arenas, and uh, everything was going great, but due to a fall, I um, had a very serious concussion, was off work for 18 months. Getting a little bit healthy and thinking, okay, we're gonna expand. We went out to Clooney Hill and uh, started opening the restaurant there, but with the, the wonderful flood of 2013, of course, that all went down the drain, so to speak, and uh, that started to affect me personally as my health, you know, was just coming back and it was a pretty good hard hit. So, um, yeah, you start to realize that your dreams are gone. My husband um, got sick, had surgery, and we thought he was doing fine, but lo and behold, he ended up back in the hospital with uh, open heart surgery and um, passed away. You lose that person's income, and um, it just got to where, do I pay the phone bill? Do I pay the, the power bill? You know, when you think, I really should be doing something, and you try doing everything, pulling from this, that, or the other thing, but you eventually discover that you really do need the help. During that little journey, I met a girl who had actually gone through your program and said, you have to get back on track and your health is important and you're going downhill. So make this phone call and I did, I took her advice and I'm here. I came to see Bromwich and Smith because one of my friends, Alicia, has been going through the same process and said the staff here was wonderful. And um, they'd actually said, maybe you should do bankrupt because at your age, it'll be done over and I said, I got a little bit of pride in me somewhere. And these people were there when I needed them, so I wanted to be able to give something back to them at least, even if it wasn't the whole amount. So I decided to go through the proposal rather than the bankruptcy. Before you walk out the door, you feel like the whole building's been lifted off your shoulders. <laughs> you do, and I thought, oh, why didn't I do this when she first started saying, go talk to them? because you still have that other type of pride. There's a pride that you think everybody's gonna look down on you, and then you think, bugger it. I don't care if they look down on me, I have to do what's right for me. I have to get my health back into check, so. When you find yourself in a bind like this, you have to talk to somebody. You have to take that leap of faith, even if it's a blind faith, and go talk to talk to the people because they have got the professionals that'll help you. and and. At that point, you just have to be ready to open up and hear what they're saying and do it. 